Could Pope Francis really visit North Korea? It's a question that's lingered for a few years now and perhaps looked more realistic during the height of dialogue between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and his South Korean and US counterparts between 2018 and 19. Seven years have now passed since he was last on this peninsula, but that was here in the south where, at Myeongdong Cathedral behind me, Pope Francis presided over mass during his stay. The reason we're talking about this again is that South Korean President Moon Jae-in recently met Pope Francis at the Vatican, where the latter stated his intention to visit North Korea, according to Moon. Since then, we heard from the South's Unification Minister Ian Young, who accompanied Moon on his visit to the Vatican. He said it's definitely possible that the Pope could visit Pyongyang, but the prevailing feeling here in Seoul is that this is all very much up to North Korea. Kim Jong-un 총비서는 교황을 초청하겠다는 의사를 2018년에 문재인 대통령을 통해서 밝혔고 전달이 음, 되었습니다. 예. 아마 저는 개인적으로 김 정은 총비서의 그런 의지는 여전히 유효하다고 생각을 하지만 음. 그런 북한의 여건들에 따라서 북한이 결단할 문제이고 양국 간의 외교 문제이기 때문에 기도하는 마음으로 또 우리 평화에 도움이 된다면 그렇게 소망하는 마음으로 바라보는 것이 중요하지. 음. For South Korea, a visit by Pope Francis could breathe life into dialogue and peace efforts. But would North Korea want the Pope to visit? On the one hand, yes, it might offer international legitimacy and potentially change the perception of Pyongyang for some outsiders. If North Korea's goal is to lift sanctions, who knows, maybe they would try to leverage Pope Francis's visit for diplomatic gain. But then again, in a country that's very sensitive about Christianity, so much so that leaving a Bible there can land tourists in trouble, a visit by the Pope could be seen as a threat to the worship of the Kim dynasty that's ruled North Korea over three generations since its foundation. North Korea has a limited Catholic Church presence, yes, but it's under the supervision of Pyongyang rather than the Vatican. If he were to visit the North, Pope Francis would almost certainly want to freely address Catholics, at least those who'd make themselves known given the history of persecution there. For instance, he promoted religious tolerance during his trip to Iraq earlier this year. The other issue is timing. The Pope's last visit to Korea was in the warmth of August 2014. And a Chung Wade spokesperson here has admitted it's unlikely Pope Francis would go to North Korea during its long and cold winter. And then North Korea has also avoided high-level diplomacy at home during the COVID-19 pandemic. That in itself makes it very challenging for President Moon Jae-in to make much peace progress before next year's election here. But Pope Francis going to North Korea at some stage, perhaps definitely possible, is an exaggeration but certainly not impossible given his apparent willingness to make it happen.